Here is a display link setup uh, with the Bill of S5. Now we've been trying to run multiple displays off of different, several different setups. Runs really well on a i Core i7. Um, runs pretty decent on a Core Duo laptop. Um, you can run three monitors off of both of those. Though the um, Bill of um, Atom processor has only really been able to push this one display link. Um, I have this set up as a docking station. Uh, the villa is plugged into the hub and then the hub is plugged into a keyboard and mouse and this is hooked up to a um, 720p display uh, through DVI or HDMI um, display link just recently added support for HDMI on that so it works works pretty well um, that's the beta version of the display link drivers now, this processor is um, it's a fairly slow processor, and the display link is um, highly dependent on um, your processor. So, with this, you get um, it's very it's usable, um, but it does lag um, compared to what I've seen on. Um, the Core i system. The Core i system I was able to run uh, two um, 1080p videos along with two standard definitions. So a total of four videos on three different monitors. Um, so this is really the experience you're getting here is kind of a slow notebook, which the Villa S5 pretty much is a, a lower end notebook. Um, but if you need to use something like this, um, just plug in on the Go USB. It's still very usable productivity and stuff. I've tried video on this. Video doesn't work very well. Um, it just just doesn't have the processing power, um, even with the display link to show video, even lower res video, standard definition. Um, but that's about it. Um, one quick note on Display Link. Display Link is um, a, more of a technology manufacturer. They make the chips for different products like USB monitors, USB projectors, uh, USB to DVI adapters for um, various companies. Um, HP does, also does a docking station with their chips inside of them. Um, but if you want to check out more products and stuff, check out Display Link.